Apollo 69. What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're doing part 2 of the Explorer console conversion on my 2003 Sport Track XLS. I am joined once again by Michael and Kaysen. Say hello guys, if y'all can hear me. But today we're going to be working on our project console. This is, of course, if you didn't see the last video, I recommend you guys go check that out. Uh, our 2001 Explorer XLT long box console. And what are we doing is everything you see right here in black, we're about to take it apart. And carbon fiber wrap it. I've always been this big carbon fiber junkie for a very long time. And um, Michael happens to have some left over from when he did the Jeep. So we're going to use that. Wrap all this uh, black stuff here in carbon. Uh, part three will be redoing the armrest. Uh, as you guys see here, it's uh, kind of tattered. Um, I'm going to redo that entirely and have a new armrest put in. And then uh, we'll be ready to hopefully get it installed in the trunk. But anyway, we'll be working with Michael and them over there. And we'll go from there. Yes? Okay guys, so we're back here with Michael. Uh, Michael's sort of taking apart the console, but we're taking the, um, the inner piece out that's carpet wrapped on this, if you'd like to show them real quick. So this is all carpet line, believe it or not, and uh, we're going to tear it apart and take this piece out so we can do just the, the portion here. Should be relatively simple. Um, we're also going to try to work on the cup holder segment. It's going to be kind of difficult, but we're going to get the most we can out of it. Um, but. Yeah, so basically, uh, what size are those, Michael? Would you mind telling us? Seven thirty seconds. Okay, so these are four seven thirty seconds bolts. Yep, four. Okay, so four th seven thirty seconds bolts to get this undone. Um, I'm being a little more in depth on this video because I want all the guys who are doing something similar to this to know what they're doing, um, so they aren't like uh, just winging it. And especially being the only video on. YouTube. Yeah, the only one of this on YouTube right now. So. 730 seconds bolts all removed to take this inner portion of the cup holder out. Oh, about fell over. Don't mind me. My Yo, shaky video. My lack of balance looking self. Uh, all right, so. Having self. Lack of balance having self. Boy. Okay, so we've got now the inner portion out, like we said. And uh, now we can get on to wrapping. This piece I don't right want to lick this, actually. Who knows? I wouldn't. I mean, it's yeah, been, it it's be been sitting in a junkyard for a while. It needs to be clean. So anyway, Kason's just chilling like a villain. Uh, we're gonna some towels, bro. need some towels. Yeah. What kind of towels? Or just like something to clean this with. Okay, well, I'll go get that, and uh, we'll get right to work. Yeah. All right. So here's our wrap. Uh, we'd like to explain them where you got the wrap from, Michael. Amazon. Ha! Amazon. Uh, Amazon carbon fiber wrap here. Uh, here is the inner portion at the bottom of the center console, in case you want reference to where that part is, because we did film it taking it off. It is this portion. On the center console where this front cigarette lighter would be. This will not also, I mentioned in the first video on this project, that will not be usable. Uh, much like the rear AC controls are not going to be usable on this project. They're, they're just basically going to be there for decoration really. Make it look like it's an XLT export track. <laughs> um, we're also maybe going to attempt that piece right there, like I said earlier on. It's going to be difficult, but we may be able to get something done on it. Um, we just got to kind of figure it out. And um, we're probably going to air, air, like compressed air, sh shoot all this dirt out of it. Uh, once we get everything taken off, because it's nasty in there, we can't sell. Uh, I mean, this did come out of a car that was made in 2001, and has been sitting like this for since 2001, so it's obviously going to have tons of dirt in there in it, and dust and all that crap. So, anyway, let's get over to Michael, who is currently cutting out our vinyl. And, my vinyl. huh? My vinyl. The, his vinyl that's going <laughs> on my center console. Kason's in there taking a dookie. Uh, that's cute. <laughs> huh? That's cute. I know. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to kind of go along the process of this uh, once he gets everything cut out and ready to go. Alright. Okay, so there's our uh, first look at it. Sort of wrapped. We, uh, of course, got to finish getting everything fitted and shaped, and uh, then we'll get the cutting and reinstallation. Okay, guys, so here's our finished product. We're only going to do the front piece due to the complexity of the back piece of this thing. Um, but I think it, it came out really well. And uh, we've got the carpeted piece on its way back in. Uh, Michael is currently screwing it in. Get it? Screen. Okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, with the four 730 seconds bolts we pulled out earlier. 
and we're going to go ahead and clip it back in and see how it looks on the console. Okay, so now we're back at the center console, reinstalling this front piece. Let's see how it looks. And we're clipped in. So that's how, such a simple process, right? How it looks in compared to the black on the uh, this piece. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. Don't break that. Uh, we're either going to get a hydro dip or we're going to have someone else wrap it because Michael does not even want to bother with it. And then next thing we'll be doing is refinishing the armrest, which is not bolted in right now. If you do, uh, it's not going to be comfortable, but if you did like a, a plastic, you could carbon fiber wrap that too. Nah. Or you could just do like a carbon fiber. Vinyl. Like a, like yeah. a leathery kind of material. Yeah. I'll just see what we can find at the fabric store. But we're going to do something with this. Um, also, may need to find some screws to be extra safe. This junk's broke, dude. Time's up. Huh? This junk's broke. Oh, well. It'll work. Um, he's not buying another lid. Screws. Because it's missing a couple screws down here. Both of those uh, screws are in, they just broke off. But these two screws... Uh... But anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed part two of the center console swap on the 01 to 05 Sport Track using a 95 to 01 Explorer center console. Uh, go subscribe to Michael, of course, uh, at Kindlestone. It'll be in the outro screen. And MG Productions for Kaysen uh, also will be in the outro at the end of this video. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you guys next time.